everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre-loved market, sustainable fashion, and workwear. Today's video is the third clothing part, fourth, I guess, full installment in my capsule wardrobe series, and this one is all about dresses. The dress I'm wearing right now, for example, is not one I'm going to choose for this capsule wardrobe. I love this dress. It's Karen Millen. It's like a nice scuba ponte knit kind of material but this one is very much work appropriate and not so great for the casual summertime, which is what I am going to be looking for for this capsule. So this is an example of a dress that will not be chosen. It just happens to be the dress that I'm wearing to work today. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through my dresses with you. I am going to go ahead and put the ones that are not going to be used for this capsule away but those are ones that I'm gonna be keeping and packing when we move, and then if there are any that I'm not sure about, I might consider getting rid of those. Then I'm gonna narrow it down to the pieces that I would consider for the capsule, and then try those on and narrow it down even further. So let's go ahead and get started. I will say quickly that in my first introduction to the capsule and my announcement about moving video, I did say that in Justine LeConte's video, she said that you could have a certain amount of pieces for a season and then your workout gear or your special occasion events or whatever that's going to be there could be separate pieces just for those events i am thinking that i want a couple dresses for date nights or going to a broadway show or whatever that's going to be and so i might keep a couple things outside of the capsule and i'd like to choose those with you all today as well so the first thing i'm going to do is pick out my dresses that i would only ever wear to work similar to this one as much as I absolutely adore this Nora Gardner dress, I'm probably only going to wear this to work. And also I find that, first of all, I just wore this. And I also find that the color of this is going to be a little bit nicer for the, summer, uh, the spring and the fall compared to the summertime. So that is a keeper, but not for this. Also, you can't really see this dress because it's kind of a mess right now. It's a wrap dress. It's three quarter sleeves and it's quite thick. So it's gonna be a little bit too warm for summertime. Same thing with this one, also three quarter sleeves. So not quite the right choice. I would say I'm not gonna wear black, but apparently I'm wearing black in this capsule. So we'll see about that. And then another wrap, obviously I've got quite a few of these. This one is navy, so definitely a great color for summer, but it is three quarter sleeves and probably a little bit too warm. These next two, this red plaid one I just wore very recently. This is from People Tree. Love this dress. This one is definitely lends itself to be a little bit more fall appropriate. It's it's on the warmer side. And then this one is a tweed and it's quite a thick tweed, so it would be a little too warm for summer plus a little bit too much both of those a little too much stand out for something that's going to be versatile enough to wear a ton of different times like I would need in a capsule. All right, so the next two pieces I'm going to pick are both ones that I know I'm not going to wear right now. This one is from Capri. I bought it on my honeymoon and it's kind of like almost more of a top than a dress. I wore it a couple different times in Greece last year. I was really excited to wear it for that. I, I'm only ever going to wear this on like a tropical vacation so it doesn't need to be kept out. And this dress, which is a super vintage dress, this is the slip that goes under it this is such a cute dress but actually it needs to be repaired a little bit and I just don't have time to do that right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it even though it's so sweet this is one of my favorite special occasion dresses this Calvin Klein dress is really sweet I like it a lot it fits me really nicely I don't actually necessarily need to try this one on I think the gray is really pretty so I'm going to go ahead and keep this out as a special occasion dress, but I'm not going to include it as part of my capsule. This dress looks real. <laughs> then the last one that I am going to say no to in terms of workwear is this one, which is another black sheath dress. I find that a sheath is gonna be a little bit too constricting for like going to a wedding or something like that, whereas it it's perfect for work, but it doesn't quite work for other things. I really like this dress. I think it flatters me very well. This cut, it's probably really hard to see in the black. There's this A-line cut right here and right here that just fit my hips quite nicely. There's something about this dress that I think lends itself to be slightly less business and slightly more formal, which is what I would want for a date night or something like that, compared to 
the dress that I was just wearing. <laughs> this one lends itself a little more business. Maybe it's the big, the big buttons or something about the fit of it. But this one to me just always seems a little bit more appropriate for some kind of event. I like to pick out other little black dresses because <laughs> I can choose from there. I have this other beautiful Nora Gardner dress which I really like. I recently wore this to a wedding, so I probably won't wear it to the next wedding that I go to. So this one I will pack away. It's not a necessary one and it, it can dress up really all year round. So I'd like to choose something maybe more like this one that is extra summertime. This one is kind of a casual dress. It could go casual or special occasion. So I'm going to put this one over here and consider this one. So now if I'm looking at these, what do I want to keep for a special occasion? Maybe this black dress, actually. That's a really pretty special occasion dress, so I might separate that, and then I'll see if there are more in here. Okay, that leaves nine left. I am probably going to take two or three for a capsule. Ooh, actually ten. One of them was hidden. Let me quickly grab this one. It was falling off. I didn't see it. So this is my other black and white one. This is also really beautiful and really great for the summer, so I actually may try both of these black and white ones on and choose one of them as a special occasion dress. I've always really liked this dress in terms of the fit. It's very breathable and comfortable. The flower print kind of makes it a little bit more appropriate if I want to go more casual with it, but it is really nice for an event as well. It does like to ride up when I walk a lot in it, so that's something I have to keep in mind. I, I'm a tugger for this dress, but if we're going to dinner or something like that, it would be a totally appropriate option. Okay, so I forgot that the zipper was broken on this dress, <laughs> and I, again, don't really have time for repairs right now, so as much as this one is really fun and really silky and kind of flirty for the summer, it's just not gonna happen, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack this one away and go with either both of the other two or just one of them. I'll have to decide based on which other ones I choose to keep. This one is super fun. It's super short. <laughs> it's inside out right now, so you can't really see it, but like this goes over your head and then it's very low cut, kind of like that. And it's also quite short. So it's a great date night dress and I guess I could wear it over the summer, but I tend to only wear this one with like over the knee boots. It's actually more of a fall dress for me. So it's probably not going to be something I keep out. <laughs> I will pack it away. My only other black dress is this black and white dress. I do really like this dress. This, is, this one's really fun. It's Trina Turk. I love that it has pockets. You can wear it with a belt or not. It's a cute dress. I have very recently worn it. And I think that it's a little loud for something that I'm looking for for a capsule. It could work for a special occasion dress, but I might just keep that other black and white one, which really reads summer to me. Love this dress. Again, recently wore it for work. It can easily go for the summer as well, though, just as kind of a casual dress. This one's Trina Turk. It's so cute. So this is one I do want to try. Here is my orange A-line dress. Super comfortable. I really like this dress. It's lined, so it feels very silky on the body, which is really great. I usually wear this with my white Ferragamo belt, and I'm sure that that's how I would pair it. I'm planning on bringing at least one of those belts just to jazz things up a little bit. So this one is always really comfortable to me and a really good option, so definitely something on the maybe list. A white dress is just sort of necessary for the summertime, I think. So this one just ties up in the front. I just wore this in a sustainable fashion haul video, so you've recently seen this one. I don't know if I need to try it on again, but I guess I will in the context of this so I can decide if it should be packed. Sorry, if you can hear that, that's my husband mowing the lawn. But <laughs> this is another A-line dress. I do have to say I like the fit of the orange one better. I don't love how this one almost has a drop waist. That's not an attractive shape on me. I wish that I could tie this in the back, but then you really see the drop waist, and so I don't really like that. So I love a white eyelet for the summer. A little white dress is, of course, the perfect thing to have. It has pockets. It's great in terms of all of that. I don't know if this is a smarter choice or the orange one is. I'll have to think about it a little bit. Or I could go with neither. Here's my other wrap dress. So this one is a navy sleeveless wrap dress, and it needs to be dry cleaned. So 
I need to go ahead and take care of that, but I will try this one on and think about this as a capsule piece because it, it can go a little bit more formal if you needed to, but it is generally a very casual dress. I've been considering selling this dress for years, but something about it always draws me back to it. The collar's all messed up right now. There's just something really easy about it that I like, and whenever I put it on, I'm like, eh, and then I just kind of continue to like it. So I'm curious what you all think about this one. It is, again, super easy. It's very breathable. It's very comfortable. It would be an easy addition into the rest of my capsule wardrobe, but I don't know if it's the smartest choice. It doesn't have pockets, which is fine. Always a little bit annoying, but nothing. It's not a deal breaker. In fact, I'm not sure if any of the rest of them have pockets, so there you go. And then my last ones are all my super casual summer dresses, which are definitely the kind of thing I wanna pack. The first and second of those are both Rebecca Taylor. They're very similar. I'll try both and I may choose one of these because they're, this one has a dry cleaners tag, because they are a really just comfortable kind of run around dress if it's quite warm out. I like the comfort of this dress, the little elastic waist. It's very easy breezy for the summer. I forgot that the back of it is open and so it's super hard to wear with a bra. That is my biggest gripe with this dress. And I probably should eventually get those like sticky boobs. That would be like a more easy way, way to wear this and not have to sort of worry about the back. But that I just don't like to have to have special undergarments to wear a garment, especially in something like a capsule that I'm gonna be wearing so frequently. So I'll have to decide about this one. And I'm sure that the pink one is the same unless it just kind of fits slightly differently. And here's the pink version. I do like the colors of this one a little bit more. I bought this dress in Savannah, Georgia a few years ago when I went for a New Year's trip. So I, I really do like this dress, it's fun. I think the back is the same. Yeah, I can feel that it's the same. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> I have to, have to decide how much I would want to include this or not. This pink theory dress is very thin, so it's really nice for a warm day. I have to decide if this is something I want to pick. So I'm gonna try this one on. And then the last one is another Rebecca Taylor dress that is also floral. So I probably, I mean, I have this solid and the other options are all floral in terms of the, the pink ones. So I'll probably just pick one of these four dresses. I lied, there was one more with pockets. This one has pockets, but they're very thin, so I'm not sure you could actually put anything in them. They might look kind of silly, but at least it's a place to rest my hands, <laughs> if nothing else. I remembered the thing I don't so much love about this dress is I find that it's almost a little like stretched out on the side, so it doesn't fit quite as attractively as I would like up there, but it is so lightweight and comfortable. I like that it's A-line. I love the color of it. The little ruffle detail is nice. So I might still consider adding it into the capsule. I just just have to pick. Gotta narrow things down. This is the other Rebecca Taylor dress. I wanna say this is called like the Amanda dress. I'm trying to remember. This one is easier in terms of I don't have to worry about the back. I actually don't know if I find it as flattering. I kind of remember the last time I saw it in pictures or videos, I didn't find it quite as flattering as I thought but I need to see it again because I might disagree. I might really like this one. I definitely like the cut of this, just the simple V-neck and not having the back that does make it a little easier to wear. So I had a really tough time choosing that, but I did make some decisions. The first is that this dress, as much as I like it, I am going to sell it because I do like the pink version better. And since they're both sort of annoying in the back, I definitely don't need both. So I'm gonna keep this one, but I am not going to include it in the capsule just because it'll be more annoying that way. I'm also debating about keeping this dress. I do really like it, but there's something about the sort of paneling down here. I like it up here, but I don't love it down here. And I also don't think it comes in at my waist quite as much as the other ones do. So it's not quite as attractive. So I'm still debating about selling this one or not. Um, and I will just kind of have to keep thinking about it. The next one is one I decided to keep, but not to put in the capsule, and that is this black dress. I really do like this black dress, which I never said before, is BCBG Max, uh, Max Azria. And this one, 
I am going to keep as a special occasion dress. So I'm going to keep it out as something I can access over the summer, but it's not something I'm going to consider as part of the capsule, which leaves five. So one is this dress, which I do really like, but I think is going to continue to stretch out. I was debating because there is a seam right here if I could get it fixed, but I think if I did, it would really pull it and it would be quite thin. So I'm going to consider this one and I'm going to put it into the capsule, but I'm going to keep this as a placeholder and see if I can find something else that I enjoy more that's going to last me a lot longer and maybe sell this one and buy that one in its place. So I have to decide about that, but I am going to keep it for now in the capsule. I also decided that I didn't want this as a special occasion dress, but I just wanted it as an everyday dress in the capsule because it really can go casual very easily or be really comfortable for evenings. And I do like this one. So even though it is more of a sheath version and that wasn't what I was planning on keeping for the capsule, I was impressed enough with this one to include it. In terms of A-line dresses, I decided to go ahead and use both of these. I love an A-line dress in the summer, so I am going to use both. This is such a fun pop of color. And this one, although I don't love the tie, I do still like the dress and I like the just A-line and so I think it is worth keeping. Again, it might be something that I wind up just using as a placeholder. I may wind up replacing this at some point. But as of now, I just definitely want a little white dress. And so this one is going to be included. So now my capsule is really starting to come together. I think that is 19 pieces, maybe 20. And so next I have my outerwear, so my blazers, cardigans, jackets. And now that I can kind of see everything, I have a really good idea of which pieces I will choose for that. So I hope that you will stick around and check that one out next. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I would love to know if you would have made the same choices that I did. So please do leave those down below. And I would also love to know if you've ever done a capsule wardrobe or if you would ever do one. And if so, what is a must for you to include? What is a definite on your list? Thank you all again for watching and going through this process with me. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.